Hello and welcome to Impera Project, a project built on a dream. You probably know from the physics class that in theory, in the same initial conditions, conditions that are kept the same throughout the whole experiment, the results will always be the same no matter how many times you repeat that said experiment. So if a vehicle is moving in a time limit with a constant speed on the same highway in the same conditions, it will always reach the same distance no matter how many times that vehicle will drive the highway. But that is what we call an ideal case. But as you know, there are no ideal cases in our universe. But even if they were, there is still one thing that can interfere with our said experiment. The boogeyman of physics and probabilities, the chaos theory. Before we start this video, we would appreciate it if you'd press the subscribe button, leave a like, share and comment so we know you enjoy our work. Now, let's dive straight into the matter at hand. So, the chaos theory in itself revolves around the study of random or unpredictable behaviors in systems ruled by deterministic laws. It was first introduced by Edward Lorenz, a mathematician and American meteorologist. He is the same who introduced the butterfly effect. In our video regarding the demon of Laplace, we've touched a bit about the whole determinism business. But to serve as a reminder, determinism says that all events are completely determined by previously existing causes. So everything is a result of an effect that happened in the past. Now, randomness in itself is not really something that can be explained or demonstrated. Mathematically speaking, some things happen because they happen. That leads to something called deterministic chaos. Two opposites put together. Now, the term deterministic chaos perfectly illustrates how we as human beings perceive random events. If everything is a result of an action that happened in the past, how can it be chaos? Well, here comes the theory of chaos. People in themselves are not predictable beings, and that is both good and bad. We, as human beings, without proper guidance and training, we tend to have completely different reactions in the same conditions, doing the same thing. So in other words, at moment A, event alpha might not trouble you, but at moment B, event alpha might trouble you, even though you are the same person in the same context. Sounds strange, but you can take a trip down the memory lane and see for yourself if it indeed true. This is an example of how the theory of chaos applies to us, of course, in simplistic terms. The same can be said about voting choices or about changing your mind out of the sudden. There is an explanation to this, and it's a pretty easy one. Chaos tends to appear when something is complicated by design. So there is chaos in our universe because the universe in itself is very complicated. The human being is very complicated. The micro-universe that surrounds us is, well, very complicated. Even cancer in itself can be seen as a direct effect of the chaos theory because the small universe of cells you have inside you is governed by its own rules. All the cells that are created are following patterns and yet sometimes you are producing faulty cells with little to no explanation why. Putting aside how the chaos theory affects us, let's look a bit through the eyes of physics. A perfect situation is, well, pinball. If you remember pinball, you probably had a beautiful childhood. That game was incredibly fun. So when the ball is moving inside the machine, it is without a doubt following the laws of gravitational rolling and elastic collisions. So the ball is dragged at the bottom of the table by gravity and when it hits something, the ball does not break but ricochets back. It follows the rules of determinism, yet it is completely unpredictable. The chaos theory is very complicated and it opens the door to a very advanced domain of mathematics. We do not want to transform this video into an university class or overload your brain. So we will touch only briefly on the mathematical aspects of the theory. In mathematical terms, it studies the nonlinear dynamic systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions. A dynamic system is a system or process in which motion occurs or includes active forces as opposed to static conditions with no motion. Dynamic systems, by their very nature, are constantly moving or must change states to be useful. It is exactly what happens in real life. Everything you see around, it's a dynamic system. Life itself is a dynamic system. 
In mathematics and science, a nonlinear system is a system in which the change of the output is not proportional to the change of the input. We know this can be tricky both to explain and understand. So we will end this video by saying that the chaos theory is a study of certain systems that following their nature are unpredictable. We hope you enjoyed this video and if so, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe. We wish you a beautiful day.